show sometime. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Up well, on the fourth floor. Right. We're going to be really next, depends on. We're going to be next followers, aren't we? I want to match on the wall. I want to match. We almost brought the mask. The mask was in the deep mask is here. Oh, it's, 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 it's in a display on the floor side. The Joe Carroll mask. So what can you see? <laughs> got what's coming up? Well, what do you want to know? Everything. Everything. Spoil the entire season. I don't know who's those tweets about Ruby. Can you explain in a little bit more detail on their Um. <laughs> well, start, start start with, yeah. we can start yeah. with Ryan. Yeah. Um, and the best way to do it is to sort of... Because we are going to jump ahead a year, just like we did last year. But last year there was the theme of masks, where we see Ryan, he's jogging, he's healthy, he's not drinking, and then you think everything is great. He's changed, he's evolved, and then he opens a secret room and you realize he's not great. He's, it's a facade. This year we're jumping ahead a year, but he actually is great. He's in a great place, and he has evolved, and that's where we fundamentally start as a reboot. It's going to allow us to kind of start from a new place with our protagonists. And I think if we can accomplish that, the show inherently has a new beginning. Well, that happens last at all. I mean, we're not used to seeing it happen. Well, <laughs> we're going to root for him because we're really going to like this new woman. We're going to really like this, you know, situation he has. And um, and he's and he's happy. I think we might even get to see. Here's a spoiler. We might get to see him dance. Oh, oh maybe. <laughs> you just said here's a spoiler, and we might get. To see him. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I cheated. Um, but uh, so then it, then it will be a matter of whether or not he can maintain that. And um, in terms of the reboot, we're going to reboot what happens with. Um, with the following and what that means this year and who might be behind it and what that looks like for them. Because it, it was very specific to Joe Carroll for seasons one and two, right? The, the, um, the theories he had or the kind of the um, philosophies that backed up his actions like Edgar Allan Poe or his diatribe against organized religion. But um, so there will be something new this year and Ryan will have to figure out what that is and that will turn everything upside down. But um, it is literally a reboot of what the following is. So does that mean the people he's what Ryan's trying to figure out are not necessarily going to be Joe Carroll? It could be other people. Joe Carroll is going to um, figure into the season prominently, mm -hmm. um, but maybe not in the way that you expect it. Okay. Do you have anything to say about where Max is headed? Because she always seemed to have such a level head, and she was, you know, almost like the anchor for Ryan. And you know, if, if maybe if she'll continue on with that and blossom even further, or with this show, you never know. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna have her make excruciating choices this season because in order to maintain that moral center, you have to, everybody around you needs to maintain that moral center. So if people that she loves and people she cares about maybe can't stick that course. She'll have to make some, she would, in theory, have to make some really, really tough decisions that would affect her personal life. So. It's a good way of saying nothing. <laughs> I'm thinking well, of exactly what yeah. I mean right behind it without saying the thing that happens. But she's going to have, she's going to have a really interesting character arc this year. And it's going to be related to Mike and it's going to be re related to the cases and Again, always, you know, the following and who it is and what it means affecting their personal lives in, in unexpected ways. I think a fun part of our show has always been uh, how you root, you end up rooting for the bad guys or you're rooting for someone. And I really found myself rooting for Max and Mike to get together last year. And when you get to the kiss, uh, it feels earned. And now this season, you're, we're going to pay that off. And we're going to see that where they are a year later. Um, and that's going to be satisfying, and then it's the challenges moving on from there, because Weston does have his father's killer out there, and he still has that bloodlust in him. Can he maintain that moral center? Can he be the, the good guy? Weston's a great character on the show, and he's had some great growth over the past few seasons. What do we expect to see from him this time? Are you guys going to butcher him again? You think um, we tortured him? <laughs> fine, right? Define you torture. Broke him. You broke him pretty well. Um, he's he's gonna have a journey. I I, I don't want to spoil it, but he's gonna be a little bit vulnerable because I mean, look, when anybody wants something that they shouldn't have. Um, that would make them vulnerable to people who might know what they want. 
And what will he do to to get what he wants to get? Maybe I don't know. Torture him. He's not. He's been on that journey, uh, and, but now it's the fallout. Um, I was reading this in the I was reading. Uh, I, I, I am in the same community, and I have this. It worked out really well. The same thing about alternative endings. Have they been an alternative ending shot? What is the thing that you're really doing something like that? Is it, is it so you have options, or is it just no, for, there is a le level of suspense? For us, it was. Uh, yeah. we, got, we got to a point where. Um, it was really hard to maintain any level of secrecy. I mean, we shoot now, and we air in January, yeah. so, so uh, we just we didn't tell the cast, we didn't tell the crew. They didn't know what was going to air. So we, we shot two very different endings that would have, that would have uh, huge implications on mm -hmm. season three, and that's what we showed. We showed the other ending, and, and it was just um, just to kind of prevent anyone from going, we know how it ends. Right. That's the only reason. Wow. We never intended that. Well, they not say, they couldn't know the way. Yeah. Well, they, they would, but at least there's a, there's a, yeah, there's a, there's a choice. There's yeah, a guessing. Yeah, yeah. And did you always know exactly which one you were going to use? Yes. Yeah. Looks out like that was a great That was the last question. Yeah. So it's easy because it, we shot at the same time. It's like oh. it's like extra takes, basically. Oh. So you know, I knew what we needed to do, and it wasn't like we had to go to a whole other location. Or I think the studio let us do it because it was fairly easy for us to incorporate. Thank you so much. Thank you.